cleansing of the sanctuary, August 28th. After his ascension, our Savior began his work as our high priest. As Paul says, a Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God uh, for us. That's according to Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 24. But let's consider what the book of Daniel uh, says in Daniel 7 verse 13. Uh, the Bible says, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man uh, came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. Uh, understand today that the coming of Christ as our high priest uh, to the most holy place uh, for the cleansing of the sanctuary uh, came to view in the book of Daniel chapter 8 and verse 14. Likewise, the coming of the Son of Man to the ancient of days as presented in Daniel 7 uh, verse 13. You might be wondering who is pleading our case uh, before God. I am happy today to let you know that Jesus Christ is our high priest. Uh, Jesus Christ is a mediating between God and man. Uh, Jesus Christ is in uh, the heavenly sanctuary, in the most holy place, uh, pleading for you and pleading for me. Uh, thank God we have an advocate with the Father, uh, Jesus uh, Christ, uh, uh, the living Lord. Of course, Jesus is qualified uh, to plead our case. It was Jesus who hung on the cruel cross. It was Jesus who shed his blood on Calvary. It was Jesus who was beaten with 39 stripes. It was Jesus who wore the crown of thorns upon his head. And it's Jesus who is in the sanctuary uh, interceding for you and uh, for me. Why not trust uh, God's word uh, today? Uh, let us ask God uh, for the power uh, to allow this Christ, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, to fill our hearts with his goodness and with his mercy. That's the power of his word. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we just pray for the power of Jesus to fill our hearts with mercy and with everlasting kindness. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.